Hello Aquarius, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I just ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading. Um, it's not going to apply to all Aquarius, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, we have the new moon in Aries taking place on the 12th. So this is definitely an opportunity to welcome in new beginnings, to start fresh, you know, a, a clean slate. I also see the new moon as a phase of banishing, releasing, removing what no longer serves you. So um, it, it could be, you know, ways of responding, um, certain behaviors. It really can be anything. So um, really pay attention to that, you know, and it's going to be in the sign of Aries. So this could be a very aggressive um, fiery energy. So just be mindful of that as well. So let's see what energies or vision I pick up for you guys, Aquarius. Aquarius, I see you in a boat, um, uh, rowing, okay, rowing away. So I see for some of you Aquarius, um, you're trying to stay afloat okay um you know sea and water it's a sign of emotion so you guys are trying to keep your head above water maybe trying to move towards calmer water some of you could be relocating you know um traveling across water um what else am i picking up from this um, I'm hearing just getting away, trying to get away, okay? Ba I'm hearing backpedaling, okay? So just be mindful of that, you know, we always want to move forward, uh, but some of you could be backpedaling, and sometimes backpedaling could be beneficial because then we have an opportunity to reflect, maybe reevaluate as well, okay? So let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. So I'm going to be using a spread called Truth Not Tales Spread. Just to bring some clarity to you guys. I'm using the Green Witch, Witch, Green Witch Tarot deck. And I'm also using the Mother Mary Oracle cards. Okay, so let's take a look and see what your focus or fears are for the month of April. So what is your focus or fears? For the month of April. Aquarius. Wow, so the Nine of Wands. So this was in the same position as Aries. So you could have Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries. Okay, so what is your obstacle and blockage? Okay, what is your obstacle and blockage? Okay, what is your, what is objectively true? So what is objectively true? What is objectively true? Wow. So what steps do you need to take, Aquarius? What steps do you need to take? Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay. All right, so your fears and focus. So we have the nine of wands here. So I see that um, Aquarius, you guys are really focused on um, just protecting what is yours. I do see that um, some of you have your guard up as well. Some of you could have fear of maybe um, others um, maybe getting in your business or having access to you because looking at this nine of wands, he looks uh, pretty, um, 
I want to say paranoid. Some of you could be paranoid, but um, th this person looks kind of untrusting, okay? He's on guard here. So um, I do see that um, some of you guys are going to be on guard, okay, this month and really focusing on protecting what is yours, okay? Um, this could also be an aggressive energy. You could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius or Aries person, okay? This card definitely was in the uh, Aries reading in the same position as well, okay? So you could be mirroring someone possibly, but um, I do see that you're just focused on protecting what is yours. Um, you could definitely be coming off as uh, somewhat defensive, uh, having a defensive energy this month. Okay, but you're just like you're protecting what's yours. You're not trying to allow anyone to <laughs> to sweet talk you. It doesn't matter how cute they are. Look at that little fairy. You know, he's <laughs> he's like, okay, I don't really trust you. You know, the fairy looks as, as cute as it can be. Can we talk? The fairy looks as cute as cute as can be, and he is still not trusting. You can see on his face. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> Okay, so you may be um, fearful of just maybe someone trying to come in and manipulate, but you're, you have your guards up, your guard up here, okay? But what's really important, um, Aquarius, is really important that uh, you utilize discernment, okay? Try to, try to be more discerning, you know, because, you know, having your guard up all the time can easily turn to paranoia. You can be untrusting. You can even be defensive and... Uh, you know, it may not be a call for that, okay? So it's going to call for you to really evaluate this here, okay? Uh, for others of you, there is a reason. There, There is a reason why you're like this and you have a valid reason for being on guard and uh, maybe even a, a bit defensive, okay? You could have been hurt in the past as well, okay? Um, others of you, you know, don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in, Okay? nothing's wrong with that okay um but this is a reminder to choose your battles okay because this fairy looks really cute and harmless you know and so you could find yourself being very defensive towards people who uh are not trying to hurt you but you for some of you could have a little bit of ptsd okay could have been hurt in the past and you're still carrying that with you so just be mindful of that so your obstacle and your blockage oh goodness your obstacle and your blockage is the two of chalice okay so you definitely could be in a relationship here okay um, maybe a relationship from the past is causing obstacles and blockages for you okay um if this is not you in a relationship this could be a relationship that you are observing okay could have been a past relationship maybe the person you're with in the past is currently with someone else you know and maybe that's an obstacle or, or a blockage for you it could leave you even feeling defensive maybe even a little bit fearful too um for others of you you could desire this two of chalices you could be desiring to um, be with someone, someone that's your match, someone that uh, understands you and gets you. So that's an obstacle for you, okay? Um, you know, your past could definitely be getting in the way of this two of chalices, okay? Um, maybe you're not really trusting of others, which could, you know, cause you to put up a wall or could cause you to be resistant to finding love or welcoming in um, love or even accepting love from others. It doesn't have to even just be romantic, you know, love. It can just be, um, you know, just love in general from others. Okay. Um, um, someone looks very happy here and this could um, upset you, Aquarius, uh, for some of you. All right. Um, some of you could want some of you may want a relationship with someone this could be a cancer pisces scorpio that you're dealing with as well this is venus and cancer so you could be dealing with um a venus and cancer person or a water sign person also you could be dealing with the taurus person so this is okay so this is someone this is like a third party situation here because look at the duck okay yeah, another duck is not a human, but for some of you, you could be observing a third party situation or this has been um, made aware to you. OK, um, and this is why it's an obstacle or a blockage for you. That's for some of you. OK. Um, uh, 
I'm hearing she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. So this could be also maybe a hot and cold relationship. This is a, a connection that could um, have a great chemistry, but there is an energy of uh, she loves me, she loves me not, or he loves me, he loves me not. Okay, so some of you could be getting some mixed signals, which could um, very well be an obstacle and a blockage for you. Okay, and it could be very frustrating, I see here. Okay, now, what is objectively true? So we have the three of chalice. So what's objectively true is so Aquarius, what's objectively true is that you have people that really care about you. They're, they, you have a strong friendship, okay? Um, and this friendship doesn't have to just be one person. It could be, you could have two other friends, okay? And if these are not friends, this, it, this could just be family members. It could be sisters, okay? These are people who really care about you. They want you to celebrate. Um, you also need to celebrate more, celebrate life. Try your best not to uh, focus on the negativity or focus on things that are low vibration or are no longer serving you. This is a chance, time for you to celebrate. Yes, we do go through difficult times. Um, you know, we do... Um, go through challenges and adversities. We'll do, we deal with ailments. We do with, deal with a lot of things. But what's really important is that you try to find some happiness. You try to find some joy within your life, within your situation, because that's what's important. We are um, not here forever in the flesh. We're not here. So despite what you're going through, it's really important that you try to find a sense of joy and happiness. There are also people around you okay, that want to um, celebrate with you, that want to bring you a sense of happiness, okay? Uh, this definitely could be, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is Mercury and Cancer, so it could be a Cancer person that you are really good friends with. It could also be a Gemini as well. Um, it could be siblings, like I said. You could have sisters. Um, those of you who don't have siblings, it could just be, you know, friends someone that you can lean on okay but this is definitely an opportunity to celebrate and find joy okay spirit really wants you to find joy all right within your situation even if um you're going through a difficult time you have to change your perspective and find something that you're happy about find some type of joy it's really important and it, it makes so much sense because we go to steps that you need to take, and this is the sun. The sun is all about happiness, it's about rebirth, it's about renewal. This is warmth, and this is like summertime energy here. So this is what, uh, this is the step that you're needing to take, okay? You need, you're needing to move out of um, the darkness and move over to the light, okay, which is the sun. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart, strong Leo energy in your chart. So it's time for you to start operating from a place of love and a place of happiness, joy, finding joy. Um, yes, our past can get the best of us and our past can really damage us and affect us. But it's time to let go of that and move forward and find this joy. Okay, summertime is amazing. Okay, it, it's so it's an amazing feeling because the sun is shining. It's warm, unless you live in Arizona, it's hot as hell. You know, <laughs> you know, or California can get really hot. But you know, everybody looks forward to the summer. It's a time for happiness and just, you know, just just feeling good. So this is a call for you, Aquarius, to really move into that sun energy. Um, find joy in your life through connections, connecting with others. I really feel like once you open yourself up and start connecting with high vibrational people, people who are loving and caring, then that's going to put you in the sun energy you're going to be able to shine your 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 light very brightly okay and it's amazing because your opposite sign Aquarius is Leo so it's about confidence you need to have more confidence as well all right more confidence also and um being more playful some of you can be overly serious and it could be maybe somewhat overly critical it's time to tap into that childlike energy and just let things roll off your back and just pay attention to what matters 
okay and what matters is your happiness and the sun card can also talk about a child so some of you need to focus on your child more and just you know um getting back in touch with just joy like i said i probably said joy 20 times okay but um yeah just tap into that sun energy and just move towards the light and you see this hawk he's flying towards the sun okay it's vitality it's also health too some of you are also needing to take a look at your emotional health and spiritual health as well okay so what else am i getting from this mm. okay also i'm seeing here you know those of you who are in a relationship you know no, there's no perfect relationship. There really isn't. You know, you could be married to this person, but you know, there's no perfect relationship. But what's really important is that, you know, you both work together. Okay, especially if you're having a diff having difficulties, you work together to find a middle ground. Because after the two of cups, we have the three of chalice. Chalice is joy, it's celebration, it's happiness. Some of you Aquarius, I do see pregnancy for you. I do see pregnancy here. Okay. So I do see that for some of you, okay? And that's probably why you were so moody and territorial. <laughs> Those hormones are something else, huh? Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you, okay? But it's time to, if, the, if you've been in a, if you're in a relationship or a connection, marriage, and things have been kind of rocky, it's time to start focusing on what matters, okay? And I really feel like some of you are going to be moving past that, um, the disharmony and moving over to joy and happiness with your with your partner that's for some of you let's see here okay so let's pick the 11th card the 11th house belongs to you aquarius that's the house of social life that's the house of social life and friends goals okay i'm gonna pick the 11th card There are some trust issues. Some of you are having some trust issues. Maybe you're not trusting yourself. Maybe you're not trusting others. And it just keeps you playing over and over. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. And some of you may have may had to may have had to backpedal a bit so you can take a look at yourself or reevaluate your situation, but now it's time to move forward. Okay, wow, our lady of new vision. Our lady of new vision. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra or have Libra in your chart. So our lady of new vision. So it's time for you to open up your eyes, Aquarius. Okay. It's time for you to change your perspective, to see things from a totally different perspective in a new light. Okay. And I really feel like the sun energy, the sun card will help you do that because the sun shines light on the darkness. Okay. And this could just be shining light on your darkness. Okay. Um, we all have the darkness. It's not just Aquarius. We all have it, you know, um, and the darkness could just be, you know, our shadow side, you know, our dense side. So it's shining light on certain aspects of our, uh, personality, you know, um, certain behaviors that are no longer serving us that the sun is here to shine light on that darkness so you can do the necessary work so you can have this joy and this happiness that you deserve aquarius okay so it's time for a new vision it's time for you to look ahead and not not focus on the past anymore okay you need a you need a new perspective a new perspective if you've had a horrible relationship in the past or a horrible connection in the past or a not so good experience in the past learn from it and then begin to move forward so you can have this new vision so you can start cultivating a sense of peace and even abundance in your life okay 
because you know for some of you you could have some trust issues so it's hard for you to have friendships because you don't trust people okay or you, you don't trust um you know men or women you know it could go either way but it's time for for a new vision okay there's there's an outdated vision here for some of you okay our lady of new vision i place my sacred eye opened in your heart so that you can so you may see let go of the small dreams and become receptive to fresh vision my eye is your heart excuse me my eye in your heart sees great beauty can you see the new vision emerging now is the time to dare to dream and to pray boldly with conviction that the most beautiful vision you can receive will come to life and service to all this is a long one okay this is the healing process and affirmation sit quietly and focus on your breath one each oh my god on each inhal inhalation imagine that you can follow the breath deep into your belly on each exhalation imagine that the breath rises up as a wave of light into your heart repeat this gentle breathing meditation for several moments when then within your heart imagine imagine sense or feel that there is a beautiful large feminine eye blinking gently and open opening that eye is as large as the world imagine sense or feel that you can see thoroughly i can't even read i need to be hooked on phonics <laughs> imagine sense or feel that you can see through that eye and you see many possibilities before you you may sense colors or scene or scenes symbols or feelings or it may seem like you don't sense anything at all just be at peace with whatever happens for you now imagine that you can look down at that eye in your heart and it looks back at you with utter love and devotion receive that love freely imagine that a flash of light is released from that eye straight into your mind this is a blessing of the mother a blessing that you may receive a vision or be empowered to bring the new vision that you already have access to into your life silently in your mind or aloud say for the greatest good may it be so a peaceful in this moment be peaceful in this moment and when you are ready complete your healing process with the following prayer of affirmation repeat it three times out loud if possible Mar mother mary our lady of new vision blesses me now with insight from deep within the sacred heart all resources opportunities synchronicities and assistance that are needed to bring the holy vision to manifest reality are bestowed upon me with a great heart i allow this to happen through me through my own free will so be it that is amazing okay so it's also talking about having love for yourself you know having love for yourself some of you could be torn you know whether or not you should be with this person or not okay or whether you want to go back to this person okay but what's most important is that you have self-love for yourself okay you see the love within all right so that's gonna be the end of the reading aquarius i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe and if you're interested in a personal reading with me feel free to send me a message through my website and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and god bless